we will see uh, in this session the scenario the interview scenario as uh, uh, i told you before like uh, in the previous session that we will cover one interview scenario so for that i will be taking one data set the same table emp so to get the emp table i am logging into oracle database So this is the data I just want to take it to demonstrate my scenario. So first we will uh, see what should be happened and how the interviewer will ask you at the scenario level. So what he will say, I have this data set, I have this data set. What I want here is, if you observe the department number column, I have 10, 20, 30, three departments. So what happening here? In each department, they can be multiple employees. So what I want is in one output, I want to capture unique records. Unique records in the sense, in this case, I want one tenth department record, twentieth department record, thirtieth department record. And in another output, I want duplicate records. So duplicate records in the sense for tenth department, I have total three. And whereas unique record is one, and the rest of the two records should be in the duplicate records output. And twentieth department total I have five departments. So one is unique, I mean remaining four are duplicates. And in the same way, 30th department total six employees are working under department number 30. So one department number is unique and remaining are repeated as duplicates, means five. So now this is the output should be captured in the target. Output in a sense, I am giving you only one department number column, but in irrespective of all the columns need to be in the target. All the columns. So in one output, I want unique records with all the columns. In another output, I require all the duplicated values, remaining rest of the records. How we can do this? In another way, he can ask you without giving the data set directly how to capture unique records into one output and duplicate records into another output. Multiple ways, some, some people will give you the sample data set and ask you to do this scenario. Some people may ask you simply, how can you fetch unique records into one output, duplicate records into another output? So that is the way uh, the interview question can be in, uh, in any other, in any way, okay? So for this, I'm going to log in into the data stage and I'll show you how to implement this scenario. So in the meantime, you can pause this video and you can try on your own. If you have, if you get some idea from my previous classes, if not, you can just view this recording, okay? Okay, I'm taking a new job for this and I'm making it as in a parallel job. And to, to extract the data from Oracle database, I'm using Oracle connector. So here, first I'll extract the Oracle EMP table data. Got tiger. EMP table, metadata I'm using. So now I have data of EMP table. 
and now i want to filter unique records into one output duplicate records into another output so one tenth department record and 20th department record and 30th department records will load it into one output and rest remaining 10 department records 2 and 20th department 5 and 30th department 6 records into another output most of the people when i say remove duplicate think that here remove duplicate stage may be help us no so how we are going to implement this scenario means we have a concept of key change column and cluster key change column in the sort stage so in the sort stage what we are going to do we are going to generate one and zeros i hope you remember what is key change column what is cluster key change column so both are same the functionality will differ but the output remains same functionality is same i'm sorry functionalities are same maybe when to use what is a different case so for this what i'm doing now is i'll just choose which key column we need to take to filter unique record and duplicate record and i'll generate key change column so when i generate change key change column what will happen we will get one department 10th department first 10th department record as one and rest i will get as zeros correct or not so when i go for output and the mapping i get the key change column and i'll push into filter and from filter i'll take two outputs filter supports how many output links n number of output links single input link and single output link so i am taking data sets to capture this and what i am going to do i am going to capture unique records into unique records into data set 7 and duplicate records into data set 9 so i'm going to take the key column i'm um, uh, i'll just take this key change column mapped or not yes it is mapped i'll take the copy of this key change column and what i'll do in the where class first where class condition I'm going to make it as key change equals to one. And rest next one, what I need to do, I need to key change equals to two. Zero. I'm sorry, zero. The key change column, what it will do? It will uh, take what it will do, it will generate one and zero. So one indicates unique records and duplicate records okay unique records into one output duplicate records into another output so there are multiple ways to implement this scenario we can see that but as of now i'm implementing in this common way So I'm going to compile. So I'll uh, this is the interview. I'll go through the scenario what I did. Okay, again. So this is a scenario unique and duply records so unique duplicate records that is scenario one the interview first scenario it's a basic scenario don't think it's like a complex one it is a simple simple one. 
but there are some people who cannot answer these scenarios here. So, you know, I got eight records into one output and duplicate records, level records into another output, total 14 records I have. And first word class condition key change equals to one and key change equals to zero. In link ordering, you see which is a word class one. This is a zero word class and this is one word class. Means the link label, label number. So the zero records which we are getting are unique records and one means like which is the second one, you will get the duplicate records. So we give you the link name, so it's showing you. Okay, first what I did, I have taken the EMP table and in the sort stage, I put department number and I generated key change column and the key change column functionality we discussed in the sort operation, sort stage while discussing in the uh, class two, we discussed uh, regarding this key change column, cluster key change column and the functionality of uh, key change column and based on that we generated ones and zeros one indicates the first hit record and zero indicates the duplicate record the repeated the repeated record so uh, based on that i filtered on key change equal to one key change equal to zero simple right it is simple simple uh, scenario that we have fixed now we are going to see the data so in the unique records total three records it is showing it should capture three records So 10, 20, 30, each one record I have. Why to call this one record? Again, that is a key change column functionality wise it will filter. Which record will be first, uh, first uh, attempt of key change column, then will be first and repeated value to the same department number will be zero. Okay, so in that same way, it will generate through key change column in the sort stage and those will be filtered in the filter stage. Simple, right? This is very simple. And I hope it helps you, this scenario, to get more practice done. Okay? So take to, uh, taking remove duplicates to and to from Oracle character, copy we, are, we have used before. That is what, that is our practice scenario. It's not a big scenario that we can say. It is like a practice scenario. And this is interview scenario. In interviews, people will ask you how to capture unique records and duplicate records and in a different two data sets. And one more thing, they may ask you how, how many ways we can remove the duplicates. There are multiple ways. Up to now, we have seen remove duplicate stage. And in the short stage, we have yellow duplicates, true or false. So like this, the interview section goes throughout the data stage. Okay, so this is what about my first interview scenario. My, we will see more scenarios going forward. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching this video.